Hey guys, it's Rin and we're gonna do a reaction to the finale of Big Little Lies. I just started this show a couple days ago. I've been sick at home the entire week, so I've been watching a lot of TV. I actually caught up with Broadchurch as well. I watched another show called Flowers, which was really cool and weird. I've been watching this show because a lot of people have been telling me to watch it. And I'm liking the show. There's a lot of mystery there, so I am trying to guess what all the parts mean and I only have two predictions for this show I believe uh, so one is I definitely believe that Perry is responsible for raping Jane and he's the father of Ziggy and I also think um, that the twins of Perry and Nicole Kidman I don't know <laughs> Celeste I believe the twins are the ones bullying Emma Bella no, not Ziggy because I just think they've probably seen their parents be really violent and like they pick up on those things so in turn it's made them really violent kids but we'll see how that plays out and I'm sorry it's hard to talk I've got a massive ulcer on my tongue but in terms of who gets murdered I have no idea like I don't think I don't know I don't think it is I, it could go either way like it could be one of the three main girls it could be none of the three main girls it could be all of the three main girls I don't know it could be Perry <sighs> we'll see but as I was saying I don't know I don't know anything about the murder part but I think probably Jane figures out it's Perry at the fundraiser thing because she'll probably smell him or something at the trivia night um, and it might cause a massive blow up for everyone and then I guess someone ends up dying but we're at the finale so we might as well just watch it see what happens and here we go I really like the opening credits of the show I love Chloe yeah I think all the characters so far have something about them that is a bit like unpredictable except for Bonnie I think Bonnie is like a straight shooter but everyone else Fuck off, Perry. I'm right down, guys. What a fucking psycho. Let's go. Morning, woman. Get your butt over here. I love how oh, she calls she still a woman. To launch it. Who is it? She said if I told her, she might get killed dead. Jesus. Okay. The problem. Who is it? Who is it? Knew it! Sorry. <laughs> you have to tell Celeste. She's but I didn't know they were bullies. Well, also, so yeah, this guy, the cafe owner, is Dodge, right? Okay, you just lost yourself a lot of customers, my friend. God. Rich people are the worst. Bye, Tom. Bye. Still don't trust him. Uh, I've actually been trying to figure out a way to impress you for a while now. Don't trust him. I haven't had my chance. You're straight? What? <laughs> How was your day, baby cakes? That's actually yeah. cute. I trust yeah. him now. Oh, so splitting up can negatively affect the kids? I wish I'd known that before I walked out. Wait, did I? Why do you gotta turn <laughs> like... I love her. You know what, Nathan? I'm glad you're taking this parenting thing seriously. I mean, she's a terrible person. I really am. But... It's pretty sweet as well. So. You know what's all of our shit? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Fucker. I hope he's the one who dies and everyone else survives, but we all know that's probably not going to be the case because <sighs> these things really end happily. Ikea furniture makes me cry too. And I have to face the fact that violence could be in his DNA. It's not! In his status. Sometimes they don't. I'm glad she didn't like try to turn on Jane. I think maybe. Sometimes I'm just holding on to this idea. Of perfection so tight. Something has to give. And what a quid for Bray. And it won't. Don't start. I really like that dynamic. I hope Reese with the spoon doesn't die. Don't die, Reese. Don't get I murdered. Oh, 
piss off. Isn't your penis broken anyway? Don't know if I trust him yet. I don't trust anyone. Oh, he shaved! <laughs> now he looks like Ben Wyatt. I don't know anyone called Tracy. I'm a property manager. Oh, yeah, this guy's really loose. Putting in smoke alarms in the apartment, I want to know if they can get access Monday morning. Does that suit you, honey? Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. He's gonna kill her. What'd you think? Like it. Shit! Be good tonight. Bye, Dad. Bye, Bye Kelly. Bye. Oh, God. You sh should have tried to twist it and say that it's a surprise. I don't know. Why you leave your phone unattended like that? Say she has the wrong number. Come on. Oh, jeez. <sighs> oh, at least you're here. Just stay here forever. Oh, awkward. Where are you coming? Oh, no. Oh, no. Get out of the cold, run! We have a family, Celeste. She's really good. Yeah, I'm sure the room is full of erections. <laughs> Just fucking let her out of the car. And you know what, dude? Ready for the big night? Fucking hell. Sorry. <laughs> Just drive off the cliff. When no one else can understand me. What? You give me hope and consolation. He's totally lip syncing. <laughs> it's so not his voice. You're I would be very surprised if it's his voice. Fortune. Oh my god, I hate this douche! I feel like a horrible person. I'm a liar. I'm a fucking fake. No, you're not. It's the greatest man. I mean, a little bit. I feel like a selfish fuck. No, I mean, yeah. Go, Nicole. Jump off the cliff. Fuck off. Fuck off. Why can everyone see? Buddy, go save Celeste. You're a very big person. <laughs> She's also drunk. I'll catch you later. Oh God! <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> God, all of these guys are idiots. Really oh, good, you found a friend. Okay. Shit. Now what's gonna happen? Fuck off. I, I I appreciate your concern, but I'm talking to my wife, not you. So let's, let's just go on. We have to talk She's about it. She's gonna know. She knows! Oh, God. Knew it. Knew it. What the fuck did he do? Okay, phew. She's still alive. What about the others? Oh what? It's just Perry? What the fuck? Oh. Okay, phew. They're all alive. So no one got murdered. What? That's what's bugging me. Why would they lie? For Jane's sake? No. For all their sake? Is it the end? Are we gonna get any more? I have, I have 
I supposed to just be confused? <laughs> or we're not supposed to care because he's such a dick and we're all happy that he's dead. And like this is a lie we're all okay with? I'm probably just missing something, aren't I? Oh, here we go. Pushes him. Bonnie. Holy shit, body! New faith. <laughs> I get it. This <laughs> you can't always get and this is how the women's murder club show started but you, Just you get what you need you get what you need hmm. okay cool okay cool because i was very confused for a bit because I thought maybe they wouldn't show it and then I'll try to try to gather what I'm supposed to get from that. But I get it, I get it. It's about we went through this whole season with all of them at each other's throats for all of this petty shit that doesn't matter. But it, when it comes down to it, they were all there for each other as women. Obviously in life and death situations, they're all gonna help each other. Um, defeat like the epitome of evil um so it yeah i get it i it's nice i like it i like that sort of message i guess i kind of figured out most of what was happening um before the finale i did have an inkling well i don't know i did say at the start that i wasn't sure who died um but i did i did i was thinking that it'd probably be neither of the three and they were just not showing them in the interviews um, to make the reveal at the end uh, because it's like three well-known actors <laughs> so <laughs> you usually don't kill them if you want a second series of a show and it looks like they, they kind of left the door open for a second season because they because sorry I can't talk ulcers all over my mouth full discretion I have hand foot and mouth disease um, <laughs> anyway yeah it looks like the detective is still trying to investigate the case and still trying to see what happens um which is why they left that bit at the end with her watching them at the funeral so if there is a second series i assume it'll be about that i didn't think the mystery was as um clever i guess as they thought they were being i mean i still really enjoyed the journey and the acting, of course. I love Reese. <sighs> I can't talk. I love Reese Witherspoon. This is probably uh, my favorite thing I've ever seen Nicole Kidman in as well. So I guess Adam Scott was just the dependable guy in this, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would totally watch a second season of this show. I think I really liked all the characters. Um, I think especially how they handled Celeste's storyline uh, was handled really well and sort of changing the idea the picture of what an abusive relationship looks like it's not always as it's uh portrayed on tv it's they usually portray it as like this run down beat down guy who's like a drunk and sits on the couch all day whereas in here it's obviously like a clearly very successful dude who was just not a great guy and I thought it was also pretty interesting, all of the, just, of, I guess the politics of it all, of um, this whole scenario of all of these really well-off families and all of their young, very young children and just how insane the parents get. A lot of those situations seem to just be blown completely out of proportion. Um, so yeah, I, li I like the message though, I do like the message of how 
they all banded together, especially with I don't know the character's name right now, Laura Dern though, um, especially her character and how she bonded with Jane. I did enjoy that journey of those five, five? Yeah, of those five women and how they are brought together by murder. So who doesn't love a feel-good story like that? <laughs> but yeah, so that's Big Little Lies, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe. And until next time... Bye.